Hello everyone, welcome back to the fourth part of this playthrough of Donkey Kong Country. Such a great game. As I've said a million times before, we are... On this episode, we're definitely going to finish up... Wow, okay. We are definitely going to finish up this world, World 3, I'm pretty sure we're in, yeah. World 3, uh... In this level, you're going to get the introduction of orangutans, so... Sorry guys. Uh, what I've noticed is that the lag doesn't uh, transfer over to the actual like video. All it does is screw me over in editing because I have to like mess with the uh, audio sync which I usually do a pretty poor job of which in turn leads to a crappy video. So uh, I'm pretty sure all of us here are uh, majorly against the lag in video games. There we go again, some more lag. Uh, that does not bode well for uh, the rest of this vid. So, with that in mind, we can move on in this level. This is pretty sure the second le to last level in this world. Uh, oh crap, I might have screwed myself over there. Oh, I got lucky. Okay, yeah. Like I said, there's the introduction of orangutans. They just throw the barrels. You just kind of time them. They're pretty easy enemies, uh, even though they're pretty intimidating looking and sounding with the barrels popping out like that and their timing can become kind of inconsistent sometimes so yeah sometimes they throw the barrels really fast and sometimes they take breaks and it's all kind of random at least it seems that way when you uh, play the game but yeah oh yeah like this guy's really chucking them crap that could have been bad uh, I'm pretty sure yeah the end is near I just do not want to die. Okay, we made it. Nice. Not a bad level at all. Alright, there's one more level here, as you can see. Um, Clam City. Oh, this is another underwater, I think. Yep. Aquatic Ambience Part 2, guys. Such a great song. I mean, it's just beautiful. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, yeah, these water levels are fun, and they're also pretty hard. Uh, at least they can be. They can be really annoying, especially some of the later ones. These gosh darn water levels. But uh, I gotta say there, swimming through those fish, that was pretty darn skillful. I mean, I did a decent job there. Oh, whoa. Ah, yeah, the pearl shooters, man. They're crazy. I hate them. All right, let's get the DK barrel. Evade Sharky there. I know those I think it's Chomp is his real name, his official name. Chomp. So yeah, you can keep that in mind. Halfway, come on. Ooh, that was close. Alrighty, we're halfway. Now we got these just straight shooters, pretty simple stuff. They just shoot one pearl, you just swim by once they shoot it. This guy shoots three. He's a tri shooter. So you kinda gotta watch out for him. Uh not so much this guy. Even though he does shoot pretty rapidly. But no no major problems there, as you can see. Uh, we're just going to move along past these bigger chomps. Ah! Yeah. Sorry about that squeal. That was kind of weird. That was odd. Alright, now I'm pretty sure we're going to get the introduction of... Or not. Is the level almost over? I thought this was where we get those little spinner guys. But uh, apparently not. Looks like we're near the end of the level, actually. Oh, there's, there's your spinner. Uh, pretty soon, in ah levels that are going to be coming up, these guys will actually chase after you, which can be quite dastardly. Oh no! Ah, uh, I didn't even see that guy. Okay, guys, uh, we finally made it to the exit here. Uh, it only took one more try, so it wasn't that bad. But, what that means is, we're going to the boss. And who's this boss? Ooh, the Bumblebee. Bumblebee Rumble. This guy's pretty simple. Um, you just kind of got to know his pattern. He will come at you like that, and then he will bounce around for a little while. Barrels don't affect him when he's red. Just keep that in mind. And uh, with Donkey, you can just let him run into you. Same with Did. Pretty simple boss. Uh... Yeah, you just gotta kind of avoid that, getting trapped in corners like that, that's bad. Very bad. Definitely want to avoid that. 
at all costs. You do not want to get trapped in a corner against this guy, which I almost did again there. He can be kind of tough. Definitely tougher than any bosses we've seen so far, but he's, by all means, uh, definitely not that tough. I mean, he's pretty easy. As long as he just memorizes pattern. And he should be dead there. Yeah, let's do the typical... Ah. Oh. Well, we get the item, get music, and Diddy twirls his hat like a pro. Look at that. My man did. We are moving on up. Gorilla Glacier, by far the hardest world we've seen so far. Uh, this, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be a four-level stretch that is probably the toughest stretch in the game. Um, well, at least it was the first time I played through this game. Because it's like, actually, it's, I think it's five. It's like five levels in a row where you don't even get a save place anywhere. And they're pretty, all of them are pretty tough. So yeah, this, this stretch can be pretty brutal. Pretty darn brutal. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I know there's secrets, a secret like barrel on this level that allows you to uh, do some pretty nice stuff. Like you can skip the whole world basically. It's extremely help helpful if you know where it is, but sadly, I can never remember where it is. So, did I just lose that barrel? I just lost DK. I didn't know that happened. What the heck? That is beyond unfair. Wow, that's cheap. Uh, okay, whoa, almost lost it there. Uh, careful with these... God! Yeah, like I said, be careful with those morons. They can be chomping away, and the ice is slippery. You'll run right into them every single time, and you won't even know it. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure I was like one frog token away from getting the bonus, so I'm just going to go in here again, not make any major cuttage, and uh, try to pay attention to this puzzle. Okay, looks like in here again. Yep. And there we go. So we're going to get the introduction of... The bonus game. Bonus games are actually pretty fun. There's these weird... Uh, oh, crap. This is lagging my emulator really bad. I guess that's to be expected with so many icons on the screen. Crimity. Uh, I hate this emulator. I wish I could be playing on the actual SNES. But I... For the life of me, I cannot figure out how to get the HD PVR to record... Uh, to record old school systems with any decency. When I try to record old school games on the H with the HDP VR, it's like it gives me a black and white screen on the TV. It totally jumbles up the recording on my PVR. It gives me no game sound on the TV. It's just like a joke. A total joke. So I gave up on that. Switched over to emulators here, but now the lag that comes with emulators is pretty brutal. But if I had to weigh the uh, advantages and disadvantages for each, I'd say there's more advantages with the emulator for me right now. Just because it's like... Uh, the videos r render so fast when you're using an emulator. It's awesome. You can like knock out three videos in 45 minutes, pretty much. It's pretty awesome. Great tool to have. But, uh... Yeah, this level did give me some trouble my first try let's see if we can recover after that death here we go here's the crime scene made it oh but we <laughs> get hit by one of the easiest enemies to avoid that's a shame just shows how bad we are I guess um, I feel like the secret might be right here but I'm not gonna risk it oh my god lag bad spot for it Woo -hoo! okay there's those rats whatever uh, ay, ay, ay. Careful, DK. Yeah, this level is definitely hard. Uh, probably the hardest level we've seen so far. Level, for sure. Uh, this is a pro level. That's what I like to call it. Absolutely. At least we got the halfway there, though. That is essential. And there's a DK barrel right there. We'll snag that. Ah, this part takes some precision jumping. Made it. There we go. I have the. F I have a feeling that the uh, 
Secret is around here somewhere. Pretty sure. I just... I'll never remember, I know, so... Sorry, I keep talking about it. And we died! Yay! We suck. Oh, goody. <laughs> Another death. Yay. That's two now. Oh, guys. I found it on Hexen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I found the end level secret on accident. Totally accidental. But, uh, yeah. I will absolutely take that. And as you can see, it just takes you right to the end of the level. Simple as that. I absolutely love that secret slash whatever you want to call it. I don't really know. But yeah, it's awesome. Now this level is... Eh, it's definitely not as tough as the last one. This kind of requires some mem memorization if I remember correctly because there's lots of kind of like sneaky puzzles that they throw in there. So like right here you gotta... You want to be facing that way with Donkey or else your back's going to hit him and you're going to get a demoted life. So, like, just little things like that are littered throughout this level. And I failed there, not surprisingly. These B puzzles can be pretty tough, too, with the uh, jumping. They can be kind of dirty. They can chuck those at you, like, white on rice. <laughs> I hate these armadillos when you're with Diddy. Uh, yeah, if you haven't noticed, red vines go down, blue go up, and I failed! And my voice cracked for like the 100th time in this episode. Don't know why that keeps happening, but that's annoying. See you when I get back to where I was. Hopefully we can finish this level before the video is three hours long. Oh my god! Guys, I got to that spot again. That's always the spot you have to have both Diddy and Donkey with. It can screw you over big time. But there we go. We got the halfway, so... No harm, no foul. Uh, let's continue on to the second part of this level, which I believe is not quite as hard as the first, but I failed. Uh, the less, let's play Curses in full effect, guys. This level should be a cinch. But I, uh continue to insist on failing so yeah I'm bad let's continue on here as usual let's see if we can actually finish off this level I'm pretty sure we're near the end ah okay don't fail here this is the end right here you just need some time jumps nothing too difficult about it just get as high as you can <coughs> <laughs> no! Oh, the frustration that comes with this game is undeniable. I'll see you guys later. When I get back to where I was. No! Ah! Stupid level. Kill me, please. Alright, we made it past. Uh, against all odds. We actually made it, so we are going to exit this level without looking behind us. And on the next episode, we will tackle level 3 of World 4, Ice Age Alley. Uh, pretty sure this is another tough one. They're all tough. Jesus. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the fails. I know I didn't. And uh, we will see you next time.